Yeah. So now we come to principles of liberal education. What exactly is liberal education? I have been talking, giving a lot of examples. Whatever I'm telling you, just more one more area I'll add, and you will understand the liberal education is. <coughs> Basically, if you remember, I started that we go to college, we prefer a degree, and in that degree we prefer one specialization, and we ended up our career there. Today things work differently. So suppose if I talk about the university, I work in the university is called R V University. Okay, everyone knows R V. We also have R V P U school, right? So what happens is R V started as a school, then we bifurcated in lot of colleges, lot of different things. We also have R V College of Engineering. When we started the university, today we have. Engineering, we have management, we have law, we have media and communication, we have liberal arts, we have design, we have filmmaking, we have something called 360 degree approach. Now, what happens is in RB we run a model of major, minor, and electives. A student gets an opportunity to select their major, and they have four or five minors, and they have 120 electives to opt from. and that is exactly how liberal education works now imagine a student who want to become a content creator what do you think he or she will do mass communication exactly yeah i'll come on that don't worry but what i said is major number of minors and a lot of electives to opt from that create the liberal education umbrella now liberal education emphasizes broad based knowledge across multiple disciplines encouraging intellectual exploration and a holistic approach to learning it fosters the development of real life skills such as critical thinking problem solving and ethical reasoning do you see this word problem solving huh yeah okay Do you know there is a term called unicorn? You must have heard in being in Bangalore, you have heard this term unicorn. What is unicorn? In huh? Yeah. So that's a unicorn as a creature. <coughs> But in modern world, unicorn represents a company that has a valuation of more than one billion dollars. now if i convert billion dollars in rupees i cannot but if i convert 1 billion dollar to inr then it would be about 83 billion inr oh billion mein kitne zero hote hain koi math ka teacher bata sakta hai to please tell me otherwise i don't know do you know how these billion dollar startups have started just through one thing what is that problem solving How many of you use Amazon? Is there anyone who doesn't? No, almost everyone, right? Why don't you go to a Kirana store today also to buy something? You have Amazon, right? We have recently seen a 10 minutes delivery, wherein lot of new applications have come in and they deliver in 10 minutes. Zepto, right? Blinkit. right now today my mind is so prepared for zepto or blinkit that i don't even order something in evening even if i know i know i need in morning because i know morning i'll wake up and the first thing i'll do is go to zepto and order bread and milk and curd and everything what they've done problem solving right you talk about anything swiggy food simple thing i go to restaurant i have to see the menu i have to do so many things they have solved my problem to order food online uber i have to go out talk to that auto wala he'll say 100 rupees i'll say 80 rupees all the drama nonsense he said click here check the price he'll come and pick you danzo everything every startup you will see and you will see one thing that is problem solving they have solved your problem and you know one of the things because you are teachers you need to understand what happens is when we come to this term problem solving we think that someone has to be a space scientist to solve a problem no you don't have to become a space scientist or rocket scientist or go to isro and don't only you are a problem solver 
you can solve very small problems at a scale and you can build a unicorn today is all about what is my day to day problem can i solve it tomorrow you know what kind of innovations we are coming in amazon is testing a drone so that they can deliver directly at your home without a person involved pure application of ai there are countries who are testing human drones who can fight on border so that they don't have to deploy humans to get killed problem solving is very crucial for the era we are living in and problem solving with technology at scale has immense potential to build startup to build great companies and india as a country which is growing at 8% rate per year the potential is immense so the philosophy of liberal education is a core idea behind liberal education is to develop well rounded individuals who are not just specialists in one field but are equipped with the ability to analyze synthesize and adapt to new information it promotes learning that goes beyond technical proficiency focusing on personal growth civic responsibility and intellectual curiosity the key elements are interdisciplinary learning lifelong learning mindset balance between depth and breadth of knowledge and cultivating ethical and social awareness now there is again one more key element for you as a teacher is lifelong learning mindset see no matter what age you are in today's world there is one thing open for you that is learning there are so many platforms available you imagine a subject from music to the most technical subject from creativity to the most technical subject you can learn anything and everything today and the potential is immense you know khan academy yes, sir. yeah one of the most popular education platforms how does the khan academy started this is this person called salman khan but later changed to sal khan so that he does not remain we connected to salman bhai right so he started teaching his nephew and recorded the videos then later he uploaded the videos and the videos were so good that student instantly connected with that and do you know who was the first person to invest in khan academy bill gates, bill gates. potential is immense you don't know before khan academy nobody knew this person he was just random person just like all of us but technology changed the fate you don't know until you don't start lifelong learning mindset all the areas all the potential is open global competencies i have already told you we are living in a interconnected world today earlier world if i remember if i remember the era of my grandfather he would have traveled probably few cities in his lifetime if i remember my father's time he has traveled the country at least 15 16 states and in my era i have traveled pan india and a lot of other countries and i'm just starting that's a change global connectivity is at scale now you are connected your work is connected and also one more thing is that the global connectivity is connectivity is not limited to physical travel even without physical travel i can have my friends all across the world and these kids who are digital first they already have i will have to put some effort for them it is effortless so for that global competencies are to be developed tomorrow's kids the bright kids will be one who are globally competent they will have global colleagues they will have global opportunity they will be working in different countries different technology different sources multi team multi country team <clears throat> so global competency refer to skills knowledge and attitude required to thrive in a globally connected world these competencies include cultural awareness global problem solving and the ability to work effectively across borders okay have you heard this company called california burrito yes hmm? yeah so in bangalore we are lucky all the startups start here only so we have opportunity to try everything and fastest now do you know the guy behind it do you know the person behind it definitely not an indian so this guy is basically a us guy who came here to work who came here to do a job in a technology company now he brought the culture of burrito with him 
So burrito is basically a Mexican dish wherein it is just like roti and sabzi but <laughs> pushed into one. <laughs> right? So, and the one of the common things between Mexico and India is food spices. They also love spicy, we also love spicy food. So he understood that for Indian palate, the spices will work. हम राजमा सब्जी राजमा रोटी खाते हैं वो राजमा को उसमें भर देते हैं ये लो भरी तो राइट सो दिस गाय अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस कैन वर्क हियर एंड स्टार्टेड ही स्टार्टेड एज ए स्मॉल ऑपरेशन स्टार्टेड द कंपनी कॉल्ड कैलिफोर्निया बरीतो एंड टुडे कैलिफोर्निया बरीतो इज आई थिंक थ्री हंड्रेड और फोर हंड्रेड करोड़ कंपनी विद देयर वन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड स्टोर अक्रॉस इंडिया ग्लोबल कॉम्पिटेंसी नो कैन यू इमेजिन यूएस गाय कमिंग टू इंडिया इन रनिंग अ फूड चेन The country which is known for its food, हम पूरी दुनिया को food export करते बंदे ने हमें भेज दिया, right? That is the kind of possibilities that are available. And if I tell about Google CEO or any other CEO, you know, in the world, all CEOs are Indian, right? So those are the global competencies and global opportunities. You you never know that you are going to work in India only. No, you have world, entire world open. <clears throat> this is something.